A group home that helps the disabled is asking for help getting a new heating and air conditioning system. The Bob Brown House does not take money from federal or state funds and relies solely on private funding. As Rebecca Smith tells us, leaders are scrambling to raise that money. It's a story that's new at 5:30. You don't have to feel out of place because you have a disability. As the economy suffered, the needs of disabled people like Jennifer Covington have only gotten more dire. A portion of her monthly disability check goes to room and board here at the Bob Brown House in Lexington. We don't have as much as other people. I mean, we're lucky to get what we have. The group home that helps the disabled live independently is looking for help getting new heating and air units. The old system's been in place since it was founded in 1975. There are 14 people who live here at the Bob Brown House. Unlike a lot of other nonprofits that collect state and federal funds, this one operates solely based on donations and private money. Director Amy Brown says with utility bills, sometimes reaching $2,000 a month. We have just enough to pay our bills, pay the help, but when it comes to a big improvement like this, uh, we, need, we need help. That help, she says, extends to people like Jennifer. So we want independence. The only difference is we need a little bit more help than others. My dad died and, and left me this place. He could have left me an old car or something, but uh, here uh, we have a ministry, and it's, it's important. And Lexington, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. And if you'd like to donate to the Bob Brown House, they have set up a GoFundMe page, and you can also donate through their website. We have a link on our website, WKYT.com.